This holiday season brings all of us so much joy with wonderful memories. But like so many of you, we also like to take time during our celebrations to send out our thoughts and prayers and maybe even help and encouragement to those going through tougher times. Someone who inspired me more than ever before this year has to be Heather Meadows. We heard the story earlier about the accident that took her brother's life and left her to deal with the horrible burns that nearly took her life too. Now Heather and her husband Brandon join us once again to tell us how they use her experience to help and encourage others through recovery of all kinds. My teenage years were really difficult because at some point I had to end up dealing with the emotional trauma. It was evident the physical trauma that my body had endured, but I had to be able to face that emotional trauma and that's really when everything came crashing in on me and uh, I had just expressed it in some really unhealthy ways. I, I had an eating disorder and, and I was suicidal. It was a very dark time. But in my desperation to have happiness and to be at peace with my body, as I really pressed in to have that emotional healing, I just my relationship with God blossomed through that. And I knew that what I needed was gonna be greater than anything anyone could give me. And so that's when I just, you know, just get digging into the Word of God and prayer and seeking hope. And I found it, I did. Uh, definitely still went to therapy, definitely still took medication when I needed to, but um, that gave me the hope that I needed to know that I had a future. My husband and I met in high school, and it was funny, when we met, we didn't really think a whole lot about each other. I was very unassuming about myself because of my own insecurities, never really thought that anyone would be interested in me in a romantic way. It was inspirational to me then to think that, wow, you know, this, this, this girl's special, this girl's a miracle. And uh, I think by the time I was a senior in high school, we had hung out for a year and got to know each other really well and I knew that there was something very special about her that I wanted to be with her. And who would have ever thought that we would have uh, married a month after I graduated high school and my parents were not just incredibly excited about the timing of that uh, but thrilled at the quality of the character of the man that I that I got and um, it has been such a blessing. I don't look at her and see somebody that is a burn survivor or a burn victim or somebody who has scars. It's, it's a blessing every day to, to be married to her. Two of our, our babies ended up being in the NICU. It felt so unnatural for me to not be able to take care of them, to have to turn them over to somebody else and somebody else take care of them. And that started to stir me and I knew I just kept saying, I know I'm not doing now what I'm supposed to, but what I'm going to end up doing. And what I was going to end up doing that God finally revealed to me was, I'm calling you to nursing school. But you know, He reveals things just as we can handle it. And, um, and so I did, but that was a journey. That was a journey of getting from, you know, the patient to being on the other side of it. But it's really fulfilling. It is really fulfilling and I love it. I first started having opportunities to share my story about, it's been almost 14 years ago now. I never really thought a whole lot about what that might be establishing later in time. And so about a year ago, I was having uh, some, I had had three surgeries in 2014 and had a lot of time to sit and be still and just seek the Lord and what it was that He wanted me to do. And so I knew that it was time to step out and be more intentional about sharing this story. It was not easy for me trying to assimilate back into school and into society. I just wanted to go to school and I just wanted to be like them. And I wanted life to be, you know, normal again. And it, and it wasn't. Not every teenager knows what it's like to have a burn injury, but every teenager does know what it's like to feel inadequate. Every teenager does know what it's like to feel insecure and to not be able to see past the temporary. What, what people I think take out of her message is that there is hope and there is a future that can be good. And I think a lot of people can't see past 
the immediate news and despair that's in front of us to see, hey, there, there's a good future out there and I have to choose to hang on to the good part. I can talk about those things because they, it may look different, but they may know exactly how I feel. And maybe me sharing how I feel and how different I feel is going to help them feel a little bit better about being different themselves. And I, that really goes across the board, no matter what age we are. Just want to know that there are people like us. You know, we're not the only ones. People get us. We all want to be understood.